The movie happens in the year 2020 when COVID is in a peak state after being infected by COVID. Most of the states in the U.S. are under complete lockdown. In the midst of all this, we were introduced to a college student named Tyler who is at a store to buy some supplies while he was shopping. He suddenly gets a message from an unknown number inviting him to a party. When Tyler agrees to go he gets a message saying that he has to be tested negative for COVID in order to get to the party. Tyler immediately gets irritated and curses at the unknown messenger later while Tyler is waiting in the line the unknown messenger sends Tyler a pic of himself in the line. Then he turns around to look for the stalker and couldn't see anyone after leaving the store. Tyler gets into his car. When he is about to start the car, he gets a call from the unknown number. When he picks up the call no one talks from the other side. Tyler curses at the unknown caller and tells him to stop stalking him and then cuts of the call. Then he gets to his room and while he is checking the things he sees the main doors open he goes out to check and sees no one and returns to the room. Later, while Tyler is watching the news we see that some masked person is coming out of Tyler's room after turning off the TV. Tyler notices the killer in TV. The killer tries to attack Tyler with a knife but Tyler resists the killer and escape from him. After struggling for some time Tyler runs into a room to hide and uses the desk to stop the killer from entering the room. He waits there for some time and then wraps his wound with a cloth and picks up a baseball bat to confront the killer. He slowly gets out of the room and goes to the stairs. While Tyler is looking the killer suddenly gets from behind and slices Tyler's throat. Then he throws Tyler's body inside and closes the door. In the next scene, we were shown a girl named Parker who was getting ready to leave to stay at her father's cabin for the quarantine, but instead of going alone she takes her friend Mary with her to spend the quarantine, and soon they drives off to the woods to the cabin. After getting there they sanitizes the place and while she is unpacking the things Parker gets a message from an unknown number telling her to have fun. And Parker asks the man who he is later they both goes to the lakeside and while talking about an Instagram video of Parker kissing a guy she gets a message again from the unknown guy saying her to jump into the lake. Parker thinks it's her boyfriend DJ, but Mary tells it could be anyone since they posted about their trip on online soon. Parker blocks the number later we see that someone is watching the girls from behind through the trees. Later that night while they are watching news they see some vehicle as approaching and Mary asks her if she invited anyone and Parker tells her she didn't. When they both goes to the window to check on they see someone sitting in the truck. Soon the man walks to the door and Parker thinks that it might be one of their dad's friend and is here to check on them. Then they goes to the door and asks who it is but the person didn't answer and kept banging on the door. The girls get scared and Parker picks up the knife and goes to answer the door after opening the door. Parker sees no wonder soon. Someone approaches from the back door and startles Mary and it turns out to be Parker's boyfriend, DJ. Parker gets serious on him cause he just came in all of a sudden and she asks him to leave but DJ manages to convince her to let him stay for the night. After some time they all sit outside at the fireside and smoke some pot and then they goes to the basement to drink and gets high later Mary goes to bed and after that DJ goes to talk with Parker about something. He then shows her a video of her kissing a guy named Benji and asks her if they hooked up, but Parker gets angry and tells DJ that they are not in a serious relationship or a couple and it is none of his concern after DJ asks her if she has any true feelings for him. Parker tells she doesn't and tells him to leave in the morning after Parker leaves to the bed we see that someone has been watching them all this time from the side. After some time while Parker is talking with Mary we see the masked killer has entered the house and is behind her. Later DJ wakes up in the middle of the night and tries to find his mobile but he couldn't. Then we see the killer has come to Parker's room and takes away her phone too. Then Parker wakes up after hearing loud music playing from the downstairs. She goes to check and quickly DJ gets from behind and pulls her to a side. He then tells her that there is somebody in the house. Soon they finds out both their phones are missing. He then tells her to get down from the balcony says he will get. Mary Parker then gets out to the balcony and climbs down from there and reaches the surface. She then goes to Mary's window and sees the killer in her room. When the killer tries to attack Mary DJ steps in the middle to help while DJ is fighting with the killer Mary and Parker escapes and gets into the car. Meanwhile when DJ tries to escape the place he gets
gets stabbed by the killer while they are waiting for DJ he opens the door and is all bloodied, the killer walks out DJ with a spear in his back and then digs it into him, they both tries to escape from there but the tires gets punched, then they both escapes back into the house, while the killer is chasing them they both runs into the attic and kicks down the killer who is trying to get in and they breaks down the window and gets onto the roof to escape from there. While they are walking over the edge the killer suddenly grabs Mary through the window and then he pushes her down from there. Meanwhile Parker sees this and gets down to the kitchen and fights with the killer. She then hits him with a glass bottle and uses a kettle to beat the killer and tell death when she gets relieved. After all of this we see that another killer is entering the house. The new killer gets to the body and starts crying upon seeing him. Parker uses this chance to escape from there, and after getting out she sees that Mary is still alive. Mary tells Parker that her leg is broken and couldn't walk anymore. And Parker tells her about the second killer. After sensing that killer is following Parker she tells Mary to act dead and goes to hide behind a tree. Soon killer gets to Mary and kicks her to check if she is dead and when he tries to check her for pulse Parker distracts him by throwing a rock and then she starts to run towards the lake, she then hits the killer with a paddle and gets onto a raft to escape from there. Meanwhile back at the cabin Mary crawls back and gets into the house. She then takes a look at the wound on her leg, then Mary breaks down a chair and uses some wooden sticks and plaster to tend to her broken leg. But the first killer conscious again and goes after Mary but Soon Mary pick up a knife and stabs him in the throat and kills him this time. Meanwhile when Parker is rowing the raft the killer gets to her and pulls away the paddle from her. He then stabs her hand through a gap of the raft. When the killer gets onto the raft Parker jumps out of it and swims out to the shore. After getting to the shore she goes to a cabin nearby which belongs to a man named Lyons. She calls for help by banging on the door. When no one answered the door she uses the window to sneak into the cabin. But soon the killer gets there and starts to look for her while she is going. And suddenly, Mr. Lyons approaches her with a gun and warns her to get out of the house. But Parker reminds him about her and says she is a friend of his daughter and tells him that there is a killer behind them after knowing that she is his friend's daughter. Lyons tries to go and get the phone but soon gets his throat cut by the killer seeing this. Parker runs out of the house and goes into the woods to escape the killer. And soon Parker ends up near a road after getting there she gets attacked by the killer but Parker manages to resist him and beats him up in return. Then she stops a car and sees an old woman named Pamela on it. Parker asks her for help but the woman hesitates to help her since she doesn't have a mask. Then she checks her handbag and gives Parker a spare mask she had and lets her into the car. After getting into that car Parker starts to feel dizzy since the mask is laced with chloroform. After some time she gets Parker back to the cabin and collects some sample from her to test for COVID in the hand testing kit. And it turns out that Pamela is the wife of the killer Jason and the dead killer is their son Jeb Jason. Then shows her the Instagram video of her with Benji. They then reveals that Benji is their son and he got COVID due to her and they accuses her for killing Benji and also tells seven other people got COVID due to the party she held and died while this is happening. Mary picks up the laptop and starts to text for the cops to get help. When Parker tries to tell them that she is not infected the couple accuses her and also tells about the person who gave it to her as Tyler from the beginning of the movie, and soon they shows her the test results saying that she is positive for COVID and they starts to beat her and torture her, she then asks them why they killed Mary and DJ, then the couple accuses her since she has to be alone on quarantine. Meanwhile Mary tries to text her father to inform about the killer. But soon Jason notices that someone is using the Wi-Fi and unplugs the route. And then Jason goes outside to check for Mary. Meanwhile when Pamela is talking with Parker saying that she will kill her by burning the house Mary slowly gets from behind and hits her with a bottle and then they pushes her out through the window. Later Jason gets back to the house and couldn't see Parker and while looking for the girls they distracts him and pushes him down making him fall on the deer horns after Jason is dead they both gets out of the house goes to the garage and tries to use the car in it.
when he realizes that the car is out of gas. Parker goes to pick up a gas can, but soon Pamela gets there with an axe and tries to kill Parker but the oil gets spilled on her and then Mary lights her up. Pamela runs out of there with fire on her and dies. Meanwhile when Parker and Mary are trying to walk out of there we see the cops arriving to the place late just like any other horror movie and that's it. What are you waiting for? Subscribe the channel to see more recaps and don't forget to like the video and click bell icon to see more videos. Have a good day.